it was at the George Hotel that the Rugby League as a Sport was born. On August 29, 1895, when 21 clubs elected to break away from the Rugby Football Union to enable working class players to be compensated for taking time off work to play rugby. Kirklees won the tenure to host the development of the National Rugby Museum in June of 2020, placing it in Rugby League's spiritual home, the George Hotel, which closed down in 2013. Key stakeholders in the project included the Rugby Football Union, Rugby League Cares, and the University of Huddersfield, just to name a few. However, many people have grown frustrated on the lack of development and communication on the project. I spoke to members of the public to get their thoughts. Here is what they had to say. To be honest with you, this is the first I knew it was going to get built because um, when we came past, we thought it was the George Hotel. Um, when they said that they were moving it to a museum, I thought, well, it's looking exciting for the, uh, for the town. We finally get a museum now. Does something to do with rugby? Um, well, if people are campaigning against it and people aren't happy about the fact that it hasn't been built, then I feel like people should definitely um, find a way to get the point across and make sure that it can be built because it's something that people want to see in the community. That I mean, why? It was the, the league was done here for here, so should stay in Huddersfield. Why here? At the George. I also managed to get some thoughts from the Rugby League Cares charity. Here is what they had to say on the matter. Oh, it seems to be according to the idea, uh, and it was you know, incredibly frustrating when last year the council said that the museum uh, would not be happening within the George Hotel. Rugby League Cares and Rugby Football League would like to express their disappointment in the lack of clarity and communication from Kirklees Council on establishing the National Rugby League Museum. I'm Paul Oluwadare, and this has been the story.